Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another comparison video for you between two pairs of the Nike Dunk Grey Fog. And this could be one of the closest comparisons I've ever done. But before we get into the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to today's sponsor. Legitmark is the standard for sneaker authentication and is the safest and most reliable place to get your sneakers authenticated. And this pair is on the platform, so if you're struggling to tell the difference between these two, don't worry, Legitmark's here to help, so there's a link in the description for you to check them out. So, we're going to get straight into comparison, and I think this is going to be a pretty quick one, because the details are very minor between these two pairs. So firstly, we'll start with the boxes. As you can see, these are both a UK 9, and I'll be comparing them directly, there should be very little differences between the two. But the first difference to note is the actual colour of the box on top. So if I show you from above, you can see the colour difference between the two boxes. The retail one is like a standard Nike red box, whereas the fake one is a much richer red, as you can see, it's much darker and bolder compared to the retail one. Also, looking above, you can see that the boxes are actually different sizes. So these being both UK 9, the boxes should be exactly the same. However, the retail box is probably about a centimetre longer than it is on the fake one. So just look closely at that. Also, if you're looking at the Nike logo on the top, I would say the Nike logo is a little bit thicker on the fake box compared to the retail one. But it is very close and can only really be seen in studio lighting the colour difference between the two boxes. Spinning the shoe boxes around and taking a closer look at the label, and I'll give you a close-up of this now, you can see differences between the retail and fake. So once again, the label on the fake pair is a darker red compared to the retail one. There is slight differences in the actual font size. However, it is very hard to tell unless you're looking extremely close. So they've done a pretty good job of this label. So you're going to have to look very closely at the small details if you are trying to authenticate this pair. Because like I said, this is the closest comparison I've probably ever done. But nobody really wants me to talk about the boxes for the whole time. So we'll open them up and take a closer look at the shoes. So open up the fake one first. The shoes come completely exposed when they're dead stock. Open up the retail one and they are wrapped in the paper. This is just a thing to note if it comes directly from the store. Obviously, if some resellers sell them, they might unbox them, move the packaging around. But the paper's lying flat on the bottom of the box. It's normally a telltale sign that this pair is fake. Don't know why fakes always do this, but just look out for these small details. So here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike Dunk Low Grey Fog. Can you tell any differences between these two? Because they are incredibly close. So the first difference I'm going to point out is actually the leather material on the toe box. And this is really hard to see, so I hope it shows up clearly on the camera. But if you look closely at the material used on this leather toe box, you can see it is actually slightly different. And the material is more texturized on the fake pair compared to the retail pair. Probably one of the main differences between the two pairs that can be spotted quite clearly is the actual stitching material going all around the shoe. So if I give you a close up of this around the toe box area and to the side, you can see that the color of stitching is actually slightly different between the retail and fake. I would say on the fake one, the stitching is much lighter than it is on the retail one. This can be seen on the swoosh on the side here. You can see that the stitching is much lighter on the fake one compared to the retail one. So this is one of the most obvious signs on this pair. So look closely at your stitching if you are trying to authenticate your pair. Another very minor difference to note is the actual label on the tongue itself. If you're looking at it from above, you can see that the label on the retail pair is much larger than it is on the fake one. The fake one is attached much tighter and smaller compared to the retail one. And if we spin this label upside down and take a look at the back side, we can see once again the clear color difference in the stitching going across the back. And also it looked like the stitching thread used on the retail one is much thicker than it is on the fake one. On the fake one, the thread doesn't look as strong and tough as it does on the retail pair. So as I said at the start of this video, these details are incredibly small and it's what you've got to look for if you are trying to authenticate your pair. So if we spin the shoe to the side and we take a look at this grey like material going around the back, we can actually see the opposite difference to what we saw on the toe box. So from the close up here, you can see that this leather like material is more texturized on the retail pair compared to the fake. So this is the opposite of what was on the toe box where the white material was more texturized on the fake, but the grey material is more texturized on the retail. So just try and remember that. I know it's quite hard to remember things like that but look out for these close details if you are trying to authenticate. Spinning the shoe upside down and taking a look at the tread, there's another clear difference to note here. And if we look at this Nike logo underneath, we can see this clear difference. Once again, it's more texturized on the sole, 
on the fake pair compared to the retail one. And if you look at this R logo to the right of the Nike symbol, you can see that it's much more bold on the fake one compared to the retail one. And you can see that on the fake one, the Nike logo itself sticks out a lot more than it does on the retail pair. However, these differences are incredibly small. And if we're looking at the stars around the toe, they are practically the same, there's no difference here. So once again, very small details between the two. There is actually a slight color difference between the two soles. I would say the retail one is slightly lighter gray than the fake one. However, this is incredibly close and I'm even struggling to see this in studio lighting. What I would say is quite a lot of people look at the Nike embroidery on the back of the heel. What I would say for this colorway, I wouldn't look too closely at this. Because dunks are becoming so massively produced, there are a lot of QC areas on the back of the shoe. So I have seen pairs of these with a the Nike embroidery all over the place on the heel. So if you have a pair and it's messed up at the back, don't worry, this does happen on retail pairs as well. Like I said earlier, where the gray material on the retail pair is more texturized at the back compared to the fake, this can also be seen at the toe box area and actually might be more visible and clearer to see on the camera. So I'm gonna show you a close up of this now. And you can see that at the toe box area where the gray material goes around the toe guard, you can see the material is much more texturized than on the fake pair. However, you're gonna to have to have these very close in hand to be able to tell the difference between the two. So now we're gonna take a look inside the shoe. They do come with this paper-like shoe tree. So we'll take it out from the Rizzo one and we'll take it out from the fake one and I'll give you a close up of these. So as you can see, there's a clear difference between the retail and fake paper from the inside. On the retail one, it's much softer paper compared to the fake one, which is much more laminated. Also on the retail one, it's gone for that kind of speckled look appearance and it's a slightly darker color compared to the fake one, which is just a plain white paper and it's much more tough and stiff on the fake one compared to the retail one. So like I said at the start of this video, I told you this video was going to be very short because these two are incredibly close and it's probably one of the closest comparisons I've ever done. So I hope this video has helped you if you are trying to authenticate your pair. And if you're still struggling, don't worry, Legitmark is here to help, so there's a link in the description for you to check them out, because these are incredibly close. But thanks for watching, please subscribe, like, it does help the channel grow, helps me do comparisons just like this. But thanks for watching, hope you have a great day.